In high school, I was a hand grenade sitting in a palm-shaped desk ready to blow up in the face of any teacher who thought I wasn't worth holding on to. Knowing that I was bright, I never let any earthly authority stare at me for too long. I was expelled during my junior year and sent to an alternative school, shaped like a trench, where students were treated like dismantled machine guns. They searched us every morning, made us take off our shoes, pat us down from head to toe, but the metal detectors don't beep when students sneak hope into the seams of their clothes. There's an average of about eight kids in every classroom, with everything to learn and nothing to lose but their pride. See, one morning, a classmate was laughing about how his own mother is a crackhead. His voice was careless and unforgiving, but his eyes told me that even addicts can become saints. And at that moment, my conscience began writing this poem, and now my hand is finally starting to remember it for the 16-year-old veterans. I'm sure your hearts are purple, not bruised, but brave. The color of royalty rests in the cave of your ribcage, where teachers can only imagine the kind of stories you engrave inside the walls of your chest. It's no wonder why they always try to get under your skin, see if only your hearts could learn to love. Maybe they would pump less like a shotgun and more like a piston and give them the drive to be more than a statistic Because no matter how hard we try to point kids towards better test scores They'll still be aiming at each other without the right weapons and we need our students in the classrooms You see in high school, I learned to explode into the things that I love I learned that you can't learn wisdom. They cannot teach you virtue I learned that graduation is not my parents responsibility and that a cap and gown is an attitude you wear for the rest of your life See at the end of my graduation ceremony. I walked around frantically for like 30 minutes searching for my parents who were lost in a maze of classmates who crossed the finish line without hearing gunshots by the time we united Families had already taken their graduation pictures and were dispersing towards further celebration. But my parents didn't care about no graduation photo. The hug that my mother gave me meant more than a certificate, more than 10 steps across the stage, more than my GPA or what college I was going to. Her hug was a thank you for working towards something bigger than myself. It was a reminder of the moment I decided to not let my dreams slip away. Her hug was like a stamp on a passport that showed me where I just came from and allowed me to go wherever my heart decides. She held me tight like a hand grenade and it reminded me of the moment I decided to pull my pin out and show the world the brightness of my flame.